Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and in this week's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to complete this week's Winter Forzathon challenge which revolves around the use of a retro rally car. Now a couple of these challenges do look a bit tricky but don't worry I will guide you through them as best I can. Now the car I recommend using is a 92 Escort RS Cosworth and I have made a tune for it as you will definitely need a tune to complete these challenges. It's called Epic Escort and you can find it on my storefront. Now the first challenge wants you to earn 3 airborne pass skills but the actual chapter progress says 5 so you do need to earn 5 of them. Now the first race, uh, the race actually I recommend using is the Gardens Cross Country Circuit uh, which can be found up by Mortimer Gardens. Now I also recommend you change it to at least 5 laps or so so you get plenty of chances to hang back and overtake people um, and get the airborne pass skill. Now obviously an airborne pass skill is just an overtake at the same time as getting air. Uh, and it's actually a bit easier than you might think it is, especially on a race like this. And like I said, I recommend you sort of hang back a bit in the race uh, before approaching a jump and then just gun it as you come up to the jump and get the overtake skill and the air skill at pretty much the exact same time uh, as you can see I'm doing here. Now I know the challenge says to get three of them, uh, but the actual chapter progress wants you to get five and you do need to get five of them, just be wary of that, so don't sort of give up at three. Uh, and that's why I made it quite a few laps, because obviously it gives you time to, to get the challenges uh, and to get the skills. Uh, instead of having to restart the race every couple of laps. So that one's actually fairly easy, it's not as hard as you might think it is. Now the next challenge wants you to get 5 lucky escape skills in your retro rally car. Uh, and a lucky escape skill is basically a drift uh, at the same time as getting a near miss. Now I recommend using the highway and I also recommend going into solo mode as you saw there. So going offline uh, as there is a lot more AI traffic available when you do it as you can see here. Now, like I said, the actual uh, lucky escape skill isn't too hard to get. You've just got to drift at a fairly decent speed past someone while getting a near miss skill. Um, I recommend going a bit over 50 mile an hour, otherwise you won't get it. Um, and be careful not to touch the car as you will basically just get a trade and paint skill and you won't complete it. Now, the final challenge here basically wants you to get three stars on this speed zone, as you saw down at the bottom of the map. And again, it's not actually all that hard, especially with the tune that I've made you. Now, I know it's obviously winter, so it might be a bit tricky, but this Escort RS Cosworth is actually one of the best cars for the job uh, for doing any sort of off-road racing. It's a fantastic car, uh, and hopefully the tune will help you because it made, you know, I managed to nail it somehow, and I'm not amazing at speed zones. Um, but that one is actually fairly easy. Uh, it shouldn't take you too long. I think you only need to get about 95 mile an hour on that one. Uh, but anyway, guys, I hope this has helped you out, uh, and I hope this video has guided you to victory on this Forzathon. If you have any questions about any of the challenges, please do say so in the comments, and I will reply to you and help you out as best as I can. Don't forget, if you do want the tune, it's called Epic Escort, uh, and it doesn't mean the other thing. Don't worry about that. Um, and that is available on my storefront. Just type in Steza01. Uh, anyway, a massive, massive thank you for everyone's support, guys. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more. Uh, and a massive thank you from me. Cheers, guys.